What I'm going to be playing here is before I judge. Can you please speak into the microphone so the audience can hear your testimony? I'm a computer programmer. Mr. Curtis, are there programs that can be used to secretly fix elections? Yes. How do you know that to be the case? Because in October of 2000, I wrote a prototype for President Congressman Tom Feeney at the company I worked for in Oviedo, Florida, that did just that. And when you say did, did just that, it would rig an election? It would flip the vote 5149. <laughs> To whoever you wanted it to go to and whichever race you wanted to win. And would that program that you designed be something that elections officials that might be on county boards of elections could detect? They'd never see it. Mr. Would you answer that question once again? They would never see it. So I'm giving you that as a testimony before a judge. That is a man who helped rig an election. We know that that still exists. You know that still exists. I went to go vote. I didn't get to turn mine in. The man in front of me couldn't turn his in. The man behind me couldn't turn theirs in. And guess what? I checked on my vote. It never went through. You have heard from many people, people in charge of the election. We are coming to you asking you to dig deep in your heart and not be condemned to hell one day. And why am I saying that? Because I'm a party person? I don't have a party. I'm an independent. I'm the outcast. But you know what? I'm standing here for the Constitution of the United States. And you guys are who we're looking to. Sheriff's Department, you know why I praise you? Because you don't stand up under these people. You stand up under the Constitution of the United States of America. And without us standing up under that, we have nothing. Nothing. They've already taken people's countries away. Venezuela, Dominion machine. You guys know they're dangerous. You know they're corrupt. Please dig deep in your Thank heart. Thank you, Ms. Shepard. Your time is up. Woo. Your time should be up. Next.